Yo guys, what is going on? Insanity coming at you today with a quick little rundown of what you're going to be able to expect from the first entire year of content of Tom Clancy's The Division. Now this game has been in development for over three and a half years. We saw it for the first time way back in E3 2013 and it looked like the most amazing game to come to both consoles and PC in a really long time. Now this game has had an alpha test, a closed beta, an open beta. Plenty of people have had the opportunity to go ahead and play this thing and it's already shaping up to be the most highly anticipated new IP since Destiny. And Destiny is, yes indeed, it was an RPG, it was made for consoles, and it was a first-person shooter. This is a third-person shooter. This takes place in a post-apocalyptic New York City where a virus has run rampant and everyone's dying and those who are left alive are just terrorizing the city and you have to make sure that you're trying to take New York back for the people and turn it back into something great once all this stuff is gone and everything can go back to normal, which probably won't be for a very long time. But with that being said, let's just jump right into it. The first content drop, this is gonna cover those who have the season pass, who don't have the season pass, it doesn't really matter either way, because the first drop in April is called Incursions, and it is totally free. No season pass is required, which is absolutely incredible. It's gonna open up some in-game missions that are really focused on squad-based gameplay. So if you really enjoyed those missions that were like the big campaign missions in the beta, where you were in Madison Square Garden or you're, where you were in that subway morgue, and you had the cleaners running around with all the fire and stuff like that, and you played it by yourself, and you didn't have that great of a time playing it because you were playing it on your own. Well, this is going to be very similar to that, except it's really going to be focused on playing with your squad mates, which is freaking insane. I love it. It's beautiful. And the other main feature that is going to be included in this is they're going to be giving us loot trading. So whenever you pick up a, an item and it's a duplicate of something you already have and it's actually worth hanging on to, don't get rid of it. Don't, you know, scrap it and just get credits from it or whatever. Try and save it, give it to a friend, because they may not have that, or they may not have something that is as good as that item, and you can help someone out with that. So I think that is really, really awesome. Now, once we get to that second update, again, totally free. It's called Update 1.2. It's called Conflict, and it's going to be changing the way that you play in the Dark Zone. They really didn't say all that much about it, but I'm sure it's going to be adding more gear sets, more weapons, and some really good stuff for you to try and hunt down in the Dark Zone. Now... All right, so in content drop number three, it's actually the first time that it's gonna require the player to have the season pass. So just think about it. Everything I talked about before now was totally free. That is insane, that's awesome, and that is really, really great for those who aren't wanting to pick up a $40 season pass right at the start. So with that being said, expansion number one is called Underground. It's gonna force you and your squad to go into the belly of the beast of New York City, and I'm talking about the sewers, the tunnels, the subway, there is a bunch of bad new enemies down there, so you have to go in into the darkness and take out as many of them as you can while trying to make your way back out. So with that being said, we're going to be rolling on into the summertime, going into expansion number two, and it's called Survival. Now, they really haven't said a whole lot on what this is going to be. All it said is that you're going to need to try and have a decent character that's leveled up with some great gear and some really good weapons so that you're going to be able to withstand an onslaught and protect a weapon stash. But there's also this fear of just going against everything and turning rogue. So is this going to be a PvE or a PvP style expansion? And maybe it's going to be a little bit of both. We don't really know. Maybe as we get closer to summer 2016, we'll, we'll know more about it. But with that being said, we're rolling into the third and final expansion called The Last Stand. And that's going to be out come winter later this year. And it's going to give players an opportunity to do stuff like a tower defense type of gameplay mechanic where you have to try and fortify an area, try and get some turrets up, you know, try and have some really good strategic stuff set up so that you can defend an area against waves and waves of enemies until you can no longer stand or maybe it does have an end game. Who really knows? But more importantly, guys, with all this content I just mentioned, I know this is getting into a pretty long video and I don't make videos normally this long when it comes to just like a little gameplay preview per se, but there is so much content being packed into the season pass for The Division, it's almost a must buy. You're basically getting two full games for $100 if you buy the season pass or if you buy the gold edition or if you happen to pick it up through Amazon and you get it for 20 bucks off for the first two weeks that the game is on sale, do not pass up that deal if you want the season pass. There's no other better way to buy it. But the most important part of the Division season pass, in my opinion, that I'm looking forward to more than anything else besides the new weapons, all the new gear, the missions that are going to be handed out to us, the random content drops, the sawed-off shotgun, 
all the crazy stuff that comes with the end game of the division is going to be the challenge mode that's included. Now, they haven't really said how much is going to be included. What's going to be happening? Is the challenge mode going to be just included in roaming around, doing different things, seeing little markers saying, hey, your friend did this. Can you beat that? I mean, they haven't said if that's how the, it's going to work, but imagine if there was just a bunch of markers all over the map in, in the dark zone or just in the map in general saying, hey, your friend did this. Can you beat it? There could be endless possibilities for how much content could be included in the challenge mode. Anyways, guys, if you're pumped and ready for the division that comes out in just a few days, be sure to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you want to hear more commentaries from me. I'm more than happy to continue making these opinion pieces and doing these awesome commentaries for you guys. I love this. This is what I originally started my content on here on YouTube, and I kind of, you know, strayed away from it, and I want to get back to it. Anyways, guys, like if you haven't, sub if you're new. I will see you in the next one, and I'll catch you online. Peace out.